money. People spend their entire life trying to figure out how to get more of it. But why is it that 99% of people can never achieve real financial freedom? Why is it that people take on $300,000 worth of student loans just to get a job that only pays them $100,000 per year? And what happens when they finally get that job and they hate it? Why not take that money and put it towards building a business, a real business, like an ATM business? After all, cash is king. And when you finally get that ATM business up and running, wonders start to happen. You start operating like a bank. You start charging fees for people to access their own money. You start collecting small increments of surcharge fees. And all of a sudden, you have passive income coming in from multiple machines and it frees up time for you to live life on your terms and not participate in the rat race. So again, I ask you, why not start an ATM business? Starting an ATM business is the first step that you should take in order to achieve financial freedom because let's say an ATM makes you $300 per month. How many ATM machines do you need in order to achieve financial freedom? And for me, that number was only five. I started an ATM business when I was in college and at the time my monthly expenses were extremely low. Um, I only had about $200 for my student loans, a couple hundred dollars for food, a couple hundred dollars for clothes and also drinks at the bar. And at the time that was all the money that I needed but I understand that as you get older, as you grow, your expenses also start to grow and you need more money every single month to pay your bills. And the majority of people watching right now, you probably have a mortgage payment, you probably have a car payment, you might even have student loans that you have to pay for. So say in total, all of your monthly expenses, including your rent, car payment, student loans, food, gas, all of that combined, say your monthly expenses are $3,000 a month, which is about what the average American pays for their monthly expenses. At $3,000 per month divided by $300, you need a total of 10 ATMs in order just to live. Now, the great part about this business is, business in general actually, is once you reach that financial freedom goal, why stop there? And it's not like a job where you're capped at a certain income limit. If you want a higher income if you want to raise all you got to do is just place some more machines down it's that simple did you know that 71 percent of american households have less than one hundred thousand dollars in assets and why do you think that is it's because people don't know how to save and invest the cost of getting an atm is about two thousand dollars and if you can save two thousand dollars plus the cash to put into the ATM from either your nine to five job, your part time job, side hustle, cutting grass, shoveling snow, whatever. I promise you that you are on the path to financial freedom. So step number one in achieving financial freedom is stop trading time for money. When you trade your time for money, you're trading X amount of dollars for Y amount of income. So 10 bucks an hour flipping burgers at Burger King. $20 an hour babysitting, $25 an hour teaching pre-K, and you will never get rich this way if you spend your time to earn an income. And full transparency here, that's actually one of the reasons why I started this YouTube channel. So for example, in the beginning of this channel, you know, I spent hours and hours, hundreds of hours recording, editing, uploading videos, but I knew that I wasn't going to get paid a single dime in the beginning, but it is a year, year and a half later and only now am I getting paid for those videos that I did a year, year and a half ago. So sure, I spent eight hours making that one video, but I've made well over $20 an hour from that one video alone. So this relates to the ATM business because once you put in that initial work by finding a location, signing the contract, installing the machine, all of the hard work is practically done. Now all you have to do is spend 30 minutes every week, every two weeks, actually loading your machine with cash. And then the rest is just collecting that money every single month, which is automatically deposited into your bank account. So it's not hard work at all after that initial setup, which actually brings me to my next point, And that is step number two to achieving financial freedom is automate everything. And this is one of the things that I'm actually working on in my business because I spend about five hours every two weeks. So say 10 hours a month actually getting the cash for my machines and loading my machines with the cash. But I could be spending that time elsewhere, you know, making videos, uploading content, creating content, writing blog posts, 
signing more contracts, doing more things to help you guys out in your ATM business. So it is possible to automate every single thing in the ATM business, such as cash loading. There are ways in which you can have machines all the way on the other side of the country and still be collecting money every single month. And everything is automated because you just hire an external company to come in and do all of the work for you. This way you can spend every single second doing only the essential tasks. Step number three in achieving financial freedom, which should actually be step number one, is investing in hard assets. And just like real estate, ATMs are actually hard assets because they are physical assets and because they actually hold their value over time. ATMs cash flow just like rental properties do. And after you are finished with the ATM, five, 10, 15 years down the road, you can still sell them for almost, I wouldn't say all of their retail value, but maybe 70, 60, 70% of their retail value. So you're collecting all of that money from the cash flow. And then once you're finished with the machine, you can dump the machine off to someone else who wants to get into the ATM business. And hard assets is where you have to focus your time and energy on because it doesn't matter if the economy is up, if the economy is down, if you're sick, if you're in the hospital, it doesn't matter because your hard assets will actually generate cash flow for you every single month, no matter what, as long as you have every all of the systems set in stone. So, for example, this is actually one of my machines from March and it, it's doing $20, $30 a day even though the economy is crazy right now, you know, there's people are getting sick all over the place. People are in the hospital. Businesses are shutting down. Thankfully, this business where my ATM machine is at is not shut down. Regardless, it's still making me money day after day. Don't be a part of that 78% of Americans who live paycheck to paycheck. If you truly want passive income, hard assets are 100% the way to go. And my personal plan is to take all of the money that I've made from the ATM business or most of the money that I've made from the ATM business and actually funnel it into buying some rental real estate properties. That way I can have multiple streams of high revenue income coming in and that actually protects me from unexpected expenses like this crazy pandemic going on right now. And I know we've all been in that spot where we had to pay for some sort of unexpected expense, such as a, a car breaking down, a medical bill, leaky roof, something like that, and we couldn't pay for it. So if you do want to achieve financial freedom and you do want to get into the ATM business but have no idea where to start, go ahead and click on this link right over here. It will take you to my free ebook on how to start an ATM business. No, seriously, it's free. Click on it.